guys, this is Sydney and today's video is going to be another haul. I have been buying a lot of eyeshadows and blushes and some of lip products. So I thought you guys might want to see what I have been buying so I decided to film this today. So yeah, I'll show you my Myeongdong bits first. I have actually been to Myeongdong with my friends and I've been to the Amelie shop. Amelie is very famous with their eyeshadows so I picked three of their eyeshadows. So these are the eyeshadows. I did actually have the chance to use some of these but I decided to put them back in the boxes so that they look nice and new for this video. The first eyeshadow which I haven't tried yet is this gorgeous very deep warm gold eyeshadow called reddish gold. It's not the typical very yellowy gold it's more like orangey gold and I was actually there with three of my friends and we all decided to pick this up because we just thought it was really really pretty. Because I bought this I decided to get this as well. I've actually used this in the middle bit of my eyes today. I just think it's really very unusual muted down orange shade. I thought these two would look really really great together all across the lids with this one and maybe in the outer corner and the bottom lash line with this one. Next one is something that I have on my cheeks today and this is the eyeshadow called Salmon Glow and obviously I used it on my cheeks today. I bought this as a blusher instead of an eyeshadow and whilst I was using this today I realised that this reminded me of a lot of a high-end blusher I own and it's the NARS sex appeal. As you can see they are not identical but I felt like these looked really really similar on the cheeks when I actually put them on my cheeks. In the pan it kind of looks like the NARS one is a lot more pinkier and paler but I felt like they looked really really similar in real life so I just um, decided to share that with you guys. Next is a powder from the same brand and this is the baked powder in the shade number one natural beige and as you guys all know I'm not such a huge fan of powders but since it's so humid and hot in Korea these days I thought I needed a good powder so I've heard a lot of things about this particular powder so I decided to pick this up it comes with this puff and it's very finely milled very very light powder which is the reason why I picked this up so I've used it once and it didn't really cake up on my skin or anything like that so I'm really really happy about this purchase so those are the stuff from Amelie and whilst I was in Myeongdong I've also been to the Lap Cos shop and I've picked up their Peppa Cheek blusher in the shade O Pink. Um, I think it's like a collaboration with Snoopy the character. I've actually tried this when I went to my friend's house and I really liked how it looked on my cheeks. It looks like that inside. So it's this very fluorescent, bright, cool toned pink shade which I didn't think that I would like it so much on my cheeks but I actually really liked it on my cheeks. I'll probably insert a photo of me wearing this on my cheeks. Since I'm so into these kind of bright, cool toned pinks on my cheeks I think I'll be wearing this a lot. And because I go to Gangnam a lot, there's a edgy towel shop in the underground shops in Gangnam Station. And I've picked up two small things from there. One's an eyeshadow and one's a blusher. So this is the High Chicks Collaboration eyeshadow in the shade BR416 Muscle Mania. I've actually used this in the inner corners of my eyes today and as you can see I've actually used it quite a lot. So it's that very chunky glittery um, coppery eyeshadow which I love. I have been using a lot of pigments in the inner corners of my eyes because it gives extra sparkles than eyeshadows but this one is more sort of like pressed pigments. So as you can see it's very chunky and very um, mushy I guess so it's very glittery so I really like how it looks in the inner corners of my eyes so I highly recommend this eyeshadow. Next one is this Dreaming Swan Eye and Cheek in the shade number two. As you can see in the pan it's a very pretty coral pink shade. I think it's meant to be a blusher but I just don't think that it's pigmented enough to be a blusher by itself but I just picked this up because it's got a very subtle shimmer in it so I thought this would work really really nicely as a highlighter instead of a blusher so that's why I picked that up. And this is the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Matte Lipstick in the shade Restless. And this is the Kendall Jenner lipstick which I have been dying to buy. So it's this shade which... How stunning is that seriously? I've actually seen this on Zoella's video and she was wearing it and I was like what is that lipstick? But I realized that it was like limited edition one. So I have been just waiting for it to come out in Korea and 
It was actually only available online, so I picked this up from the Estee Lauder's website. I do love my matte lipsticks and this shade is just so perfect for the summer and even the autumn times. So last but not least, my biggest purchase is from Aridown. I've actually been there to check out their new Shine Fix Ice ranges. So I ended up picking up two. And Shine Fix Ice, as you guys all know, is my favorite kind of eyeshadow. I was really, really excited to hear about their new colors. I picked this one up, which is called Prezzle Day in the shade 28. I've actually got this all across the lids today, so that's that. The next shade is called Coral Toxin number 23. It's a very orangey coral pressed pigment which I think would look stunning in the inner corners. And Laneige which you can buy from Aridown recently came out with their Play Normal collaboration. So I went to pick up some products so I bought three lip products and two of their cushions. This one is the Laneige BB cushion, this one is the Laneige BB cushion in the pore control version which obviously is better for oilier skin and both of these I got in the shade 21. I didn't actually try them out yet because they are just so pretty and I have a lot of cushions that I am using at the moment so I will try to use them in my upcoming videos. And for the lips they came out with the intense lip gel so I decided to pick these three up. So I got the shade number four custard coral, number five coral souffle and number eight maple red. On my lips today I've got coral souffle and maple red in the central part of my lips. So what I think about these lip products is that they are very glossy so they are quite likely to end up on your teeth but after when you get rid of the excess product on your front teeth they don't really end up on your teeth anymore so that's a good thing. That's my opinion about these lip gels but the packaging is again so adorable. So when you buy the Play Normal collaboration products they were actually giving out these makeup pouches for free which I think is crazy. I actually ended up getting five makeup bags because I've been really just crazy buying these Play Normal products. So I think I'll be doing a giveaway soon so please stay tuned for that and I think that pretty much sums up everything I bought lately. I have to admit I have been just really naughty so I don't think I should be going shopping anytime soon but nonetheless I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you guys real soon again.